A section of the Party of National Unity Leadership now says Peter Munya has no legal basis to speak on behalf of the party. Led by the second deputy organizing secretary, Tim Karioki, the group says that it supports the decision by PNU to coalesce with like-minded parties under the Azimio La Umoja movement. Munya should not transact any business on behalf of the party, as Zainab Said reports. Some deeply rooted leadership prow has erupted in PNU with some officials accusing Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya of attempting to subvert the party's constitution. The party is that one of the chairman. And it is good to come out very clearly about this because it is creating a lot of confusion. We are yet to have an NDC. This matter is in court apparently and hopefully by the end of the week there will be a ruling. It is very important. We are going to have an NDC, a proper NDC with the proper delegates. That particular NDC from all the 47 counties is the one that is going to decide who is the party leader. The group says as much as it supports PNU's alliance with Azimio, only authorized officials should transact the party's business. Meanwhile, three coastal-based parties have merged to form a coalition called Ukombozi wa Majimbo in bid to establish a regional outfit ahead of the 2022 general elections. Sisi, tumefanya muungano wa vyama vya kitaifa venye misingi yake mkoa wa Pwani na tumepata jina kutoka kwa registrar wa political parties kama mnavyoona barua hii. Muungano wetu unaitwa Ukombozi wa Majimbo. Ukombozi wa Majimbo ndio jina litakalo tumika kwa mkoa wa Pwani katika uchaguzi unaokuja. The parties are Kadu Asili, Umoja Summit Party of Kenya and Shirikisho Party of Kenya. In Nairobi, a youth caucus has thrown its weight behind Westland's member of parliament Tim Wanyonyi in his quest for governor. Honorable Tim Wanyonyi has been credibly ranked two times as the best performing MP in Kenya. He is celebrated as the best legislator in Nairobi. In tandem to this, there is no single aspirant whatsoever for Nairobi gubernatorial seat whose track record, experience or integrity comes any close to that of Honorable Tim Wanyonyi. The youth said Wanyonyi has what it takes to build the city. <laughs> Meanwhile, former Kiambu Governor William Kabogo says his family in the Kiambu gubernatorial race. Na hamuendi munakaa tu boardroom. Unarudi ingesagi? Hawasi wana mneyo. Niliona hatu songi, bado ni chai kwa ma boardroom. Chaingine mimi tundi unalipa. That's why we are vying. That's why all these people are vying. Because they have hope they will capture those seats. And we shall participate in nation building in those levels, at MCA level, at the world levels, that is in the counties, and at the National Assembly, or at the Senate. I'm hoping that we'll get a sizable number of seats. And we can take our policy of the party and sell that to other parties that think alike, so that Kenya can move from where it is to a better future. <laughs> Meanwhile, differences emerged at a media briefing by church leaders on the remarks made by the president at Sagana 3 on the position of the church on corruption. Atawe njini ya sababu njini ni, wa, ni wadishi. Munaweza iki kuingia kwa, kwa kanisa. Kili ambacho wa munaweza toa, tutajua haji njiyo ni ya wizi. So, hatuko hapa diyo tuulizane. Hiyo siyo kazi yetu, tumekuja tuganisha uso wa kristo, taifa na kenja na turiobe na hasa sana. Sisi hatu kutuma mwana siyasa yoyote. Aende ya tete ya kanisa. Kanisa siyo la wachungaji. Kanisa siyo, kanisa ni ramungu yeah. na ye huwa di anatetea kanisa lake. At the briefing, a section of men of cloth said they should not be blamed for receiving money from politicians, while on the other hand, a section of them asked to be forgiven by the president if they had received cash from politicians. For Prime Edition, I'm Zainab Said.